Hey everybody, Cool Marine here. Welcome back, Cool Nation. So, I didn't want to leave you guys, but I was kind of speeding off without you. So I made a U-turn to come back, get some of you that are just now getting the whole cutting up the uniform tops to make fabric for a quilt top, okay? So, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put together just a block, all right? So I got a bunch of this stuff here, all right? Uniform pieces that are cut up, all right? Uniforms that I've worn in all the theaters that I served in. And one sateen top that was donated by Marine who wore a sateen uniform in Vietnam. So what I did was I just cut them up in random pieces, all right? I tried to keep it as square as possible. And I don't, I, look, don't invest too much in this, okay? We're just gonna put them together, all right? So I need to square, I'm gonna square this off a little bit here because this looks, what they what do they, what do they call wonky? All oh, that word is like Chipotle. I don't like using it, all right? All right, looks a little crooked, okay? So I'm just gonna square it off just a little bit. No worries, all right? You don't wanna invest too much in in this portion of it because this portion is just gonna be cut up, all right? So let's let's grab, how about this, all right? It's a desert top. You can see the difference in there, right? That's not, that's the inside. This is the, the right side, all right? So let's just throw it on there. We're gonna put it on here. We're gonna attach it. Quarter inch seam. And that's it. Okay. Let's get it up off of there. We're going to take it to the table. And we're just going to see what we have. Voila. No worries, okay? It's not a big deal. And whoever you make this for is going to love it anyway. Look at that. Some digi. Oh, almost perfect. Let's put that right there. Okay, quarter and seam. Now, all right, you guys know I'm not the rule guy, okay? If you're looking for somebody to enforce rules, you need to look for the quilting police, not me, all right? If it's not a quarter of an inch, it doesn't have to be, all right? We're just putting it together because we're going for a bigger picture here, all right? Let's go to the table. Let's open this up here, all right? Just gonna finger press that open, all right? No worries. All right, what do we got here? We got some camo. Let's see. All right, so I, I, I took the pleasure in cutting up an army utility uniform. I loved it, okay? I enjoyed it a little more than I should have. So let's square off some of this here. My wife has a, my wife is not in approval because she served in the army. So she takes the army jokes personal, okay? All right, let's, wow, look at that. That's not bad, right? Let's put this right here, okay? Flip it over, we'll take it to the to the machine. Quarter and scene or somewhere near there. Okay, so the reason why I went all the way down and didn't stop here is because I don't know where I'm gonna cut this at. I don't take these personal. Let's go back over to the table. All right, so we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Let's let's press this, okay? Lay it down. Let's get the trusty dusty eye touch out here. Let's just press it open here and see what we're working with, okay? So with these, I was I was making my uh, blocks, just trying to get them up to about a nine and a half inch square, and then I would cut it down, okay? You get the point, right? So look at this, see how this is like looking kind of crazy over here on this end? I don't take it personal, I just cut it, all right? Don't get attached to this, all right? The larger, uh, the larger picture here is a whole block, okay? Then you could probably save that for later for something else. No worries. Don't get wrapped around a wheel. Here's another piece, look at that. Oh, nice. Let's throw that there, or let's see what else we have over here. Um, look, okay, so the reason why I'm so low right now is because I'm stashing away some of this for a demo that I'm doing. Yeah, a demo, yeah, yeah, a demo. All right, everybody, get done. When you're done clapping, I'll continue. <laughs> yes, I'm leaving the house. Everyone's probably like, you know, where is he a shut in? No, I'm not a shut in, okay? I got invited to participate in an event for a great cause. Um, so I'm gonna be going to Texas, all right? The link will be in the bottom, or I don't know which way they put those. My wife is the expert because of that. So, this quilt that I'm building, uh, the boot, will donate to 
Um, the event that I'm going to, uh, what is it? I forget the name of it. Look, I'm, I'm just so everywhere right now, but I'm going to Texas on November 11th to do the event. Uh, we'll be speaking myself, Rob Appel. Rob is, and Rob is, you know, Rob's gangster to me. And he's the first man that I ever seen quilting. So he's a, he's a great teacher and a great uh, inspiration for me to quilt. And um, um, Alex, the combat quilter, he'll also be there. And the event's being put on to, you know, for veterans, for Veterans Day, okay? And the, the, the motion, the notion is to, you know, get veterans, get service members interested in quilting, all right? I think that quilting has a great impact or could have a great impact for those of us who suffer from trauma. And I'm hoping to share my therapy with these veterans or for those, or well, not even just veterans or service members, anyone who suffers from trauma, to come into our craft, learn our craft, um, enjoy our craft, and escape from outside in our craft. But hopefully uh, I'll get to meet you there, see you there, and have a great time because my wife has me on a clock and I'll be home the next day, okay? No worries. But I'm gonna, it's, I'm looking forward to it. It's my first time going out. You know, I never thought that I would go out and share my skill set like this in this format. But, you know, when you say veterans or military, you can count me in every time, okay? And the reason why I'm building this quilt, because um, I'm a Marine. I know Marines. I can't build an Army quilt because I don't know Army. I'm not Army. Can't build a Coast Guard. I don't, you know, although I recognize and, and, and thank those other services for, you know, what they do. I know what they do. I'm a Marine. I know Marines. I know what to do about Marines. And every quilt that I build is going to be some type of Marine, uh, I don't know, some type of Marine Corps symbolism in it. But this is going far beyond symbolism because we're putting this on a quilt, all right? So the quilt top we're building with these parts that we're putting together will just be a quilt top. That's it. I don't get attached to it, all right? So the interesting part is we're going to be transferring this onto the quilt top, okay? That's the fun part because I am so lost when it comes to applique. I'm not the applique guy. I've been cheating. I've been watching Rob's, Rob's videos on applique. And Karen, Karen, oh man, just get it done quilting, okay? So not too long ago, I did an interview with her and it was fun, but I was picking her brain. I love great teachers and she's a great teacher. So if you're a great teacher and you're talking to me, you're not talking to me, I'm learning from you. So I learned a new way to do corners. So Crafty Gemini Corners, the, that's the original person I learned how to do corners on. She's out of here. I'm going with Karen. Karen taught a great way to do corners and it'll clean my corners up significantly. And I cannot wait to do the corners on this quilt. So when we do the corners on this quilt, it's gonna be a feature, okay? Cause we're using this tool I hope you can see it, to do our corners, all right? Yes, yes, the binding tool, we're gonna use it, all right? And I cannot wait. Okay, I'm, I'm rambling. So look, get your quilt top together so we can move on to do the applique, because the applique right now, I'm dreaming about applique. This is the problem, I'm, I'm not dreaming about I'm not having nightmares right now. I'm dreaming about doing applique, which is a great thing. So if you can make it in Texas, come to Texas, um, November 11th. And it's easy to remember because it's the day after Marine Corps birthday. And it's in, my wife's whispering it, but I can't get it. All right, look, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread. Okay, so here's the block. All right, see, look, I started rambling. I know I was losing my mind because I'm so excited to get out of here and go to Texas. Remember, Stitch in Heaven, Quilts of Valor event, November 11th. That's Veterans Day. And Veterans Day is always the day after the Marine Corps birthday, all right, in Texas. It's going to be a big, big to do, I think. I'm looking forward to it. And if you can make it, I'm looking forward to meeting you. It's going to be fun. All right, so look, I, I finished a little block. Just do this, put a bunch of them together. You got a quilt cool top. And then we can move on to the magic. The magic, okay? Yeah, the magic, all right? It's been magical, all right? But we're gonna do this step by step. Love you. Thanks for watching. 
See you in Texas. No, I'll see you on the next video. Texas is not till November. Right? Yeah. All right, I'll see you in the next video.